hope nobody minds late entries to random gold coins I bought in 2020. I'm pretty sure in the last video I said that I was done buying gold for the year, and if I didn't, then I probably should have, but I've been looking for a $5 Indian head half eagle for a while now, and this one showed up, and it showed up at a great price. Now, I'm no expert in coin grading, but the detail on this one looks looks actually really good. Now, there's a decent chance it's been cleaned. I think if you look at the United States of America here, you can see inside the inset letters, there's a little bit of, I don't know, what is that, grime? <laughs> I think that's usually how you know that it's it's probably been cleaned at some point. Now, it's possible that that's just natural patina. I'm sure someone in the comments will tell me. But what I look for on these coins is the detail on the feathers, and particularly the, the lowest feather on the headdress here, and then the feathers on the eagle on the back. That's usually where you see the wear on these coins. So as you can tell, I'm really just looking at this aesthetically. You can probably tell from my vocabulary that I don't really know how to, how to grade this coin. And because of that, I don't really know how to price this coin. So typically, because of that, you know, I'm at a disadvantage and I stay away from them. Now, if you look at these online, you almost always will find that they're quite a bit more expensive than, say, a quarter ounce American Gold Eagle. But locally, I was able to find this for a little bit less. And if you're not familiar with this coin, it's a little bit less than a quarter ounce of gold. I think it's 0.2419 ounces of gold. It's a 90% gold coin, but it's about the same size as an American Gold Eagle. The diameter is just slightly less than an American Gold Eagle. The composition of the coin, well, it's 90% gold and 10% copper, where the American Gold Eagles are 91.67% gold, and the rest is split between copper and silver. So they're, uh, they're, they're less gold. They're less gold by weight, so they're a little bit different coin. And now I've never found myself trying to decide between these two coins, getting a, a quarter ounce American Gold Eagle or the $5 Indian head. They're different enough to me that I have to really be looking for pre-33 gold before I would go out and buy this coin. So other than price, there's really no similarity to me. Now I've seen people do these videos where they're, they're asking the question, should you buy pre-33 gold instead of modern bullion or modern bullion instead of pre-33, which is the better buy? Honestly, I, I don't even see how you compare the two. I mean, the, the American Gold Eagle is something that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to stack forever. I'm going to stack these things to the ceiling. But the Indian Head is just something that it's, it's a total, it's a one-off purchase and that's it. I just don't have the patience for pre-33. I don't like trying to figure out the dates, whether there's any relevance, uh, the quality, whether I should know whether or not it's been cleaned, anything like that. And honestly, I'm not a huge fan of pre-33 gold coin designs. If I had to say that there was one that just kind of stood out, one that I really liked, well, this is it. Pre-33 or otherwise, though, this is just a, a great-looking coin. It's, it's one of the few designs that, that I would look at, and I would say, yeah, that's just a really good sculpture, you know, artistically, technically. It's just done really, really well. And as I was playing with some lighting earlier, I was uh, just taking some photos. I thought maybe I'd put them on Instagram. And it's just, <laughs> this coin looks better than anything else I have. And I think it's probably just that it's old, it's rugged, it's beat up a little bit. Just, it, you know, it, it looks a little bit cooler. And all of the coins that I have right now are modern bullion. I know I've, I've mentioned this in the past. I've, I've sold all my roosters, all my sovereigns. I really only have new coins, and they're all in perfect condition. Now, I'm not even really sure why I'm putting this one in a capsule. It's not going to stay that way. I don't intend to keep this with the rest of my coins. I'm just going to keep this one around. I'll keep it on my desk. I'm not really sure what uh, what the intent here is, but I really did want to pick up a, a pre-33 gold. But, you know, a lot of people have asked if they should be buying pre-33. And as far as I'm concerned, if you don't know a lot about pre-33 gold coins, you really shouldn't be buying them at all. Because like I said earlier, if you don't know how to grade that coin, you don't know how to price that coin, and you, the chance you get a bad deal is actually really high. And the fact that these are off-weight and they're 90% gold really kind of makes it weird for just accumulating and knowing how much you have at any given time. When I was buying roosters, I, I always knew that there were about five of them in an ounce, but not quite. It never really added up. It, it threw me. Now, if you already have pre-33 gold or you know a lot about it, you know, by all means, continue to buy it, of course. You know, I'm not going to change your mind either way here. 
But if you're trying to put together any kind of plan that has a routine where you're buying something consistent, well, this definitely is not the way to do it. These quarter ounce American Gold Eagles, they're always the same size. I know that I can always get them. I think I've mentioned recently I've been having some trouble, but I can always find them online if I can't find them locally. And I always know about how much they're going to cost. I, I don't have to worry about whether this one is a low mintage year or it's a particular quality or it's been cleaned or anything like that at all. And once I get 20 of these in a tube, well, I have five ounces. I know exactly how much I have. They're not particularly interesting though. I, I can't imagine just pulling one out and leaving it on my desk so I can look at it. So like I said, very different coins. The American Gold Eagles, that's a smart choice of course. The $5 Indian Head Half Eagle, well that's a more personal choice. It's a more interesting choice. That's the one that probably you'd, you'd show someone and talk about. And I don't think I mentioned this earlier. It's a 1909. I don't know that that's super relevant. That's one of the lower minted years, though. It's a 1909S. So I think that means it was minted in San Francisco. Uh, again, you can correct me in the comments if I'm off on that, but I'm pretty sure you can see the S right here. So to be clear, this really wasn't something that was part of a normal plan. This is more of a, of a, of a totem, I guess, something that I plan to keep around, but probably not something I'll try to buy over and over. I have a feeling you're going to be seeing a lot more of it though, if not here, then definitely on Instagram because I love the look of this thing. And it's, it's funny because I'm so particular with my bullion coins, you know, none of them have a single nick or scratch on them. But the dings and the wear on this coin, it's almost what makes it interesting. And I realized as I started filming this thing that I've never shown an old gold coin. And there was a time where I had uh, the bulk of my coins were sovereigns and roosters. And it's just, it's been a long time since I've had those coins. And really, I think all I've shown here are new bullion coins. So I'll just say it one more time. I really do think that the new bullion coins are more liquid. They're easier to sell. So that's what I want to have the most of. But again, I think it's interesting to have something more personal, more collectible once in a while. Even if it's not part of your normal plan, it's just a one-off purchase. And maybe you have something like that too. So if you have a coin like this that you really like, well, let me know in the comments. And then if you like seeing this kind of thing, then just, you know, smash that like button. Or, you know, <laughs> really you can just tap it. It just, it just takes a little click. That's going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to make another one of these before Christmas. So happy holidays. Uh, thank you for watching. I always appreciate your time. I hope you take care.